Yeah, it's great to see you in uh, Glasgow. You turned pro not even a year ago now. You're already 2-0 and in the UFC. How is that feeling? Did you expect this all to happen so quickly? Um, having the fights uh, so close together, I didn't expect that so quickly, but um, I knew that I was going to climb up the race to the top, you know, sooner or later. I, I always do, you know, I've been working for, working hard for a very long time, and, um, you know, the, I knew this day was going to come, so I'm very well and prepared, and I'm excited. Obviously, you've got a great team behind you, your team alpha male, you know, Uriah Faber, your coach, he's just been inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. How does it feel to train with guys like him? Oh man, it's great. Actually, my last fight before I walked out to fight Pearl Gonzalez, that's when they announced him that he was being inducted to the Hall of Fame. So to have that play out right before I walked out, uh, it, it was great. It just, you know, he's he's one of our you know founders and, and just a legend of the sport. And um, to be able to be a part of that team and represent Team Alpha Mouse, it's I mean, it's it's a, it's it's amazing. It's, so that must give you so much more confidence then, because obviously, you know, the very experienced guys, the vet veterans of the sport, so does that give you a lot more confidence when you do go in on fight night? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I've, I've said it before, it's like when I have Justin Buckles behind uh, my our head coach, he's cornered, I don't even know how many fights in the UFC, but when I'm in there and they're there behind me, I feel like all that fight experience is in there in me, you know, I feel the confidence, you know, it's like, I'm good, I, I got them on, you know, they got my back, so um, I feel good. Is he, you know, Sunday night you're facing Joanne Calderwood. What are your thoughts on that fight? You're coming into enemy territory, coming into Scotland. Were you excited when, others, or did you ask for the fight first, or did they approach you? Or? Um, I didn't ask for this fight specifically. Actually, Dana White um, uh, offered me this opportunity, and I took it. I mean, I did want to fight in, in, in July, you know, um, and uh, he offered me this, and I, I, I couldn't refuse. It was an offer I couldn't refuse. And are you going to feel any more pressure on Sunday night? Obviously, you know, with it being in Glasgow in our hometown. Uh, there's there's always going to be a little bit of pressure, a little bit of excitement, you know, but that's all a part of fighting. But, you know, I, I've been doing this for a while and, and, and I like it. I, I enjoy it. This, this, this is what I love doing. So. And looking at her style of fight, is there any way where you think you'll have the strengths or disadvantages in the fight even? Um, no, I think I'm going to be strong everywhere. I mean, I, I should, you know, I, I think I'm going to be able to cover all grounds. People would just assume I'm a grappler, but, you know, everybody's going to find out otherwise. And I don't know, obviously, with you being in fight camp, whether you did have a chance to watch the Mayweather-McGregor press conference last night. Obviously, Mayweather turned around and said, you know, I, I could come and fight in the, in the octagon in the UFC. What were your thoughts when you heard that? When I oh, I didn't actually hear that part, but he said he could fight in the octagon at MMA. And, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really say that a, a boxer just coming into MMA, if he can really beat an MMA fighter at his own game. I think that Connor definitely has a better chance beating him at a boxing than Mayweather has a chance beating Connor in MMA, for sure. And then finally, a few little predictions. How do you expect it to go down on Sunday night between you and JoJo? Sunday night, it's going to be definitely electric, spicy night, and I'm going to come out with my hand raised and that finish. Thank you so much.